All right, hunters. We need a couple of large prey for dinner tonight. Spread out and be stealthy. The pack is counting on us. You will stay with me, of course. I'm not going to let my freshly turned mate wander the forest alone. No protesting. You're mine, after all. Yes, yes, and I am yours. However, you're still new at this. No matter how tough you were as a human, being a werewolf is something completely different. Yes, you're doing a wonderful job keeping up with us during hunting trips, considering how new you are at this. You put in so much effort, and everyone has noticed. You can take a break if you need it, though. All right, if you're sure. Determined, are we? Don't get too excited. Shifting can take a lot out of you if you're not careful. Did you hear that? I think some prey is nearby. Come this way, out of sight. Oh, that would be excellent for our dinner. Well then, why don't you try to catch it if you're so inclined? Well, go ahead. I'll be right here. <laughs> Good try, my dearest. Here, let me help you up. The key to hunting is working together. You can't do it alone. First off, you need to surround your prey. And right on cue. Stay back. We'll show you what I mean. <sighs> See? That's what I'm talking about. Teamwork is the most important part of being a werewolf. We need each other. Here, why don't you carry the kill? We didn't even get that far away from camp. All right, let's head back and... Hold on. Something smells... wrong. No, leave it for now. We need to deal with this. Everyone, come with me. Do you hear that? Exactly. I hear nothing. I don't like this. <laughs> it's gone. You all got that too, right? Hmm. I've never smelled that scent before. Has anyone here? That's deeply concerning. Let's grab the prey and get back to the village. Something may have happened. Well, it seems that everyone and everything is accounted for. Maybe I just imagined it? No. It was something. Hmm. Perhaps it moved too fast for my senses. That worries me. Nothing gets past this nose. So what did? Good idea. We should definitely send a messenger to them. Mildred, we must dispatch a messenger to the humans immediately. You just got back with a letter from them. Show me. <clears throat> to the matriarch. There is an urgent situation here that we must make you aware of. I cannot go into the details in this letter in case it is intercepted. Please come at once. Signed, your faithful apothecary. Well, that doesn't tell us much. Why all the secrecy? <sighs> it sure smells like it was sent from the apothecary. What could she mean by this? I also vaguely sense something else. Like what I smelled in the forest. We must go at once. You three will come with us. The rest of you stay and guard our village. Keep vigilant. I don't like this one bit. Time to put your training into practice, dearest one. Let's go. Thank goodness you came. What's the problem? 
Is there something threatening your village? You could say that again. Quickly, come with me. Are you taking us back to the prison? If this is some sort of trap, it's not going to work. No, not after everything you've done for us. Even if you did change a human. I did not change- Never mind. Just get to the point. What is this strange threat to the village? Take a look through the window. What is that? Please, keep your voice down. You have a child in chains? What's wrong with you? Keep quiet. We can't have it wake up. It could destroy the village. What are you talking about? What do you mean by it? Come away from the door and I'll explain. What looks like a normal child is actually a monster. You know I hate that word. We have reason to use it. Look, this child came into our village covered in blood. We obviously went to help it, but it collapsed. We were looking for the wounds, but we couldn't find any. That's when we realized. Realized what? Its teeth. They were sharp. Like a... A vampire. That's when we put it in the silver chains before it could wake up. It hasn't so far, but it could at any second. Well, dearest, the reason I'm not immediately demanding they release the child is because it could potentially be an incredible danger to us all. No, vampires and werewolves aren't exactly natural enemies, but we do understand the raw power that each kind holds and do not want to test it. If it is as powerful as I suspect, the silver chains won't hold them for long. They may look young, but the immortal nature of vampires means what looks like a child could be a hundreds of years old bloodthirsty beast. You are correct. They could be just turned, but that also has its own risks. They won't know how to control their powers yet, and could be the death of this entire village if not handled properly. We won't know for certain until they wake up. Something still feels so wrong about this. Like we're missing something incredibly obvious. Forget about anything else. If this gets out, there could be a world of hurt in store for both of our peoples. What do you mean? If anyone from the kingdom finds out about this, they could dispatch vampire hunters. And I've heard they don't care if people are innocent or guilty. Anything that happens to be in their way gets destroyed. If they catch a whiff of a werewolf, we're all doomed. We have the strength of two packs now. How powerful could they possibly be? Honestly, I don't want to find out. They could destroy both villages in an attempt to rid the world of things they consider less than human. That does put a bit of a deadline on us. Here's what we'll do. I'll send a messenger back to my village for some backup, and we'll wait until the vampire wakes up. Then we can see what we're dealing with. No use worrying until we know. I guess you're right. I often am. Now if you'll excuse me, my mate and my warriors will need rooms for the night. I'll stay here in case it wakes up. No, I'll be fine, dearest. You get some rest. You've had a long day. I'll see you in the morning. I'll be careful. <laughs>